Assalamu alaikum dear students my name is Fakhar Hyar we are going to study gender studies we have discussed many different basic concepts basic ideologies relating to gender studies today we will discuss an important concept and the role of an important organization known as United Nations Girl Education Initiative UNGEI UNGEI stands for United Nations Girl Education Initiative. Uh, basically, uh, this is an uh, initiative taken by United Nations, and United Nations is one of the most leading, most important, and one of the most biggest uh, organization working for different developmental programs at global level. In every country, in every region, in every state, and in every platform. Today we will discuss what is the role of United Nations for gender development, what is the role of United Nations for women empowerment. Understand? Now our topic is UNGEI, United Nations Girl Education Initiative. The students, UNGEI is a development program to boost up women empowerment, boost up women leadership and boost up gender development throughout the world. This initiative, uh, this initiative was taken by United Nations in 2000. Important features of UNGEI. Point one, developed by UNO in 2000. This is uh, basically four areas framework, four areas basic framework structure that is adopting by UNGEI for women development and gender development all over the world. In these four areas, UNGEI is working for gender development. We discuss one by one. Point one, checking syllabus in different countries. UNGEI checks the syllabus, educational syllabus in different countries, revise the syllabus, check the syllabus and make strategies to change the syllabus, improvement the syllabus for women development, for gender development. First of all, point second, checking girls education system in different countries. UNGI is working on education system in different countries and point third is reforming girl education system by giving new policies at first step they work for checking syllabus and second step girls education system and third one is reforming education system reforming education policies relating to women's relating to girls and fourth one, fourth one is aiding for policy implementation. Aiding means financial help, financial aid. This is basic framework adopted by UNE, United Nations Girl Education System to promote gender development. With the collaboration of these international bodies, UNGEI is working with the collaboration of UNICEF, with the collaboration of UNESCO, USAID and World Bank. You know that these four organizations are also get aid giving agencies. These four organizations are also working with the collaboration of United Nations organization. Now I will tell you and clear you that United Nations is an international body and UNGEI is also a subsidiary body of United Nations and working for girls education. This is the main point in this whole line. Main point is girl education. UNGEI target is girls education. And if we if we think that what is the main purpose, what is the method of working, what is the method of working style of UNGEI, then you can understand these four parameters, these this framework, these four rules. It is the working style of UNGEI. First step, 
checking syllabus in different countries, their mission moving in different countries and checking the syllabus of girls education system in different countries. At second step, check girls education system. Either it is a separate classrooms or either co-study, co-education. Such type of policies are analyzed by UNGEI and then find their final report and then uh, this is and final report submit to the relevant government in which country they are visiting understand and then they say that you should reform your education policies relating to girls education for the betterment of gender development and for the betterment of women development and at last aid is a main tool aid is a Financial aid is, financial aid is main tool to implement any policy. They also gives, United Nations also gives financial aid to implement their own and their favorite policies in different countries all over the world. The students, I hope that you have understood the lecture. Thank you so much.